What's up, friends? It's Sergio with SportsCardAlbum.com. Really excited to bust open a box of Topps Fire Football today. And uh, when I first saw the preview images of this product, I was thinking, huh, like a lot of other people, what is this? They're trying to do some sort of, um, you know, another copy of Topps Valor or something like that. And then I, I learned more about it and realized that, no, this product is pretty awesome in what they're even trying to do. Um, so those of you that are familiar, yeah, heck, a lot of you are probably not even, don't even know that you're familiar with a guy named Tyson Beck. This is his Instagram page. Go ahead and follow him at Tyson Beck on Twitter as well. But this guy is an insanely famous graphic design artist. You know, some of these artists aren't, you know, famous by name. You can see fire right there. But this guy's an amazing artist that's been, had work featured in ESPN, um, a lot of sports related places. I know Sports Center has used his stuff. We've seen his designs on posters, uh, etc. He does a lot of this famous artwork for the NBA uh, and all of that stuff. There you see some of his Spurs stuff. Just an incredible gallery. So the story is, uh, and here if you just Google image search him, heck, you'll find a ton of his stuff there. But uh, see, so you got that Kobe versus, Bron uh, versus Jordan, all this different awesome stuff. He did stuff for the World Cup. When it came out, all sorts of stuff for ESPN, for the NBA Finals, etc. Well, apparently, the guys at Tops, Jeff Zikowski, um and uh, Egger, what's his name? Kevin Egger, I believe. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. They liked his design so much, they wanted to use it as an insert in their products. Um, but, oh, this is awesome, this comic book. But then they started talking to Tyson Beck, and apparently it's a lifelong dream of his to create an actual card set. So they ended up discussing with him. And, uh, what was it, a thousand working hours later, he put together this entire set. So he designed by hand this entire set. So we're going to take a look at this and, and appreciate the artwork while we're doing so. Um, I gave up a long time ago just trying to get, you know, hoping that I got $100 cards in every pack. Instead, now, um, I, I collect what I like, I like what I like, and I don't care the value too much. Um, so there we go. Look, we've got triple autograph, triple jersey autographs there. Oh, look at that Sammy Watkins laundry tag, one of one. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. You got Jarvis Landry. Look, you got a Dante Moncrief, one of one Nike swoosh. There you got a Johnny Manziel, one of one logo patch. Blown away by how inexpensive that is. Wow, these are going for some. There's Odell Beckham Jr., two hundred dollars out of twenty-five. Odell Beckham looks to be selling like. 10 times more than anybody else, uh, which isn't a huge surprise. Look, Zach Mettenberger, who is supposed to be the guy that they're going to go with in Tennessee this year. Um, anyway, really, really cool cards. That's a Topps Huddle. Not sure how that got past the filters. Uh, triple autograph, Nike logo swoosh. So really cool design. The base set is supposed to be really special um, just with his, his pretty designs. As you can see, four hits per box, so two autographs and two relic cards. We would obviously love to see a relic autograph. So that's it. Let's see. 20 packs. 20 packs and four hits. So you got a one in five shot of pulling a jersey card or an autograph. So if you're the type of collectors that likes to buy these by the pack at the card shop. Ooh, Sammy Watkins right there. So let's take a look at this card design. Look at that. So there's Tony Romo. Just awesome. You know, every one of these could be a poster. Unfortunately, with the licenses, they don't allow us to blow these up. Otherwise, I'd be taking some of these, taking it straight to the car, to the Kinko's and having them blow it up poster style. This is just awesome. Awesome design. We've got a redemption. So let's see who this redemption is of. Oh, whoa! Dual autograph relic of Monty Ball and Cody Latimer. Broncos dual autograph relic. Very sweet. Ooh, and a metallic, sick. Andre Johnson, metallic in the background, glossy on the foreground. Beautiful, beautiful. Actually, you know what we're doing? We're actually collecting all of our redemptions. We aren't redeeming them. And then what we're going to do is have one awesome sports card album giveaway night on Twitter where we just blow up all of our redemptions and tweet them out, and whoever gets them, gets them. Forged Fire die cut, not numbered, of Charles Sims. CJ Spiller Metallic, 
love these metallic cards. My gosh. Here's a Jordy Nelson. So I'm already excited. We got a dual autograph as our first hit. There's a Wes Welker. Man, I'm sorry. I'm about to make this like way too long of a video because I just like these cards. I keep wanting to stare at them. Uh, Charles Sims jersey card. So yeah, there's a cool Bo Jackson. So you got some veterans in there as well. Jason Winton Metallic. If you're not already using Sports Card Album uh, to take pictures of your cards, and we got the free Sports Card Album app, free uh, Android app and iPhone app, give those a shot. Marquise Lee, this is awesome. There's like meteors falling down around him. Marquise Lee on fire. Lee broke multiple Pac-12 records around Halloween in 2012. Set the mark of 345 yards receiving at Arizona. That's that's ridiculous. That's insane. Allen Robinson Metallic. A lot of packs in this. We got another forged fire, non-numbered of Devonte Adams. Terry Bradshaw Metallic. Really cool to get those veterans in there. I wonder if they've got Montana and Elway or Jerry Rice. Ooh, purple. Purple of Daryl Revis out of $4.99. like that they've got the variations. Here's Clay Matthews. Here's Russell. I should have handed it off. Wilson. Not his decision. Not his decision. Monty Ball. Anthony Barr, Marshall, Falk. Here's a Kadeem Carey Meteor Shower card. Devontae Freeman, Rookie Card Metallic. And a Percy, I would have caught the ball, Harvin. Deion Sanders and his Atlanta Falcons retro garb. That is sick. I can't believe that. Demarius, they're about to franchise me, Thomas. Des Bryant, Emmett Smith, two of the, what are going to be, Des Bryant is going to go down as one of the all-time great Cowboys wide receivers, so got two of the all-time greats there, Jamal Charles Metallic, Benny Boy Roethlisberger, James White, Aaron Rodgers in the back here, there's Cody Latimer, wide receiver, EJ Manuel, Derek Carr, who's quite popular right now, Devontae Adams, Silas Red, running back, and an Aaron MVP Rodgers. This is really cool. I mean, I I understand. Okay, got a Nick Foles Sizzling Skills jersey card. Nick Foles jersey card. His value went like skyrocketed overnight, and then when he got injured, they like cooled down so fast. Regarding the design of these cards, <clears throat> knowing that they're actually made by an artist, by this guy that's famous for his graphic design. There's a cool Richard Sherman right there. You don't see a lot of Richard Shermans. It makes me appreciate it so much more and really want to get back into it. And you look at these, and this isn't just an insert set. This looks like a movie trailer right there, a movie poster. But this guy, serious artistic ability. Kudos to Tops for saying, we're going to go ahead and do something different. But we're going to go all the way. We're not going to have one of our internal artists or a third-party design company make our product and try to make it look like this. We're actually going to go and hire the guy whose artwork we love. And we're going to pay that guy to make an entire set just for us. So I think that's freaking awesome. Trey Mason out of $2.99. And honestly, oh, this, this is just such a cool set. This, um, these base cards... Would look great if you could get like um, Topps Chrome. They have the complete sheets. Like to get a complete sheet of this, like the metallic set or something, and put it up. Actually, I'd probably. Oh, Brett Favre Ring of Fire. Slick. Brett Favre Ring of Fire. On Fire. And a Michael Floyd. If anybody's got a friend that works at one of those Kinko's is be pretty sweet to bring this over to him, have him look the other way and make some poster boards out of this. Look at this Ronnie Lott 
for an old school 49ers fan, which I am. Like, golly, that's just so cool. All right, so we're still missing one autograph. We got our two jersey cards. There's a Brett Favre. Patrick Willis, Clay Matthews. That would be a sick movie poster. Andrew Luck. Metallic. Whoops. Sorry, Johnny. Nearly knocked you down. Like everyone else. Oh, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. He has potential. There's Nick Foles. Teddy Bridgewater rookie card metallic. Let's get a Teddy Bridgewater autograph. Blake Bortles. I would have loved a Blake Bortles autograph. Oh, got a Bishop Sankey. This is going to be a jersey autograph, I think, of Bishop Sankey. Let's see. The last couple packs. Ryan Tannehill. There's a Johnny Manziel rookie. Blake Bortles, Clay Matthews. 499 Jordan Cameron, Alfred Morris Metallic, Ronnie Lott, Michael Floyd. There is my Blake Bortles Metallic, which is sickeningly cool. And awesome Bishop Sankey two color patch autograph out of 500. Let's see if that focuses there. Very, very cool. So we're going to be giving away all of these cards. I'll probably just throw in a stack of the base as well. I usually donate the rest of the base to the cards for kids or whatever uh, cards to kids. I never remember what the names are, but there's a couple of these organizations that we send our boxes to. Um, and let's do a quick little recap. Just some of, honestly, the base cards are my favorite in this. Um, I might seriously look to find a way to frame some of these. I do that a lot as gifts for friends and business associates and stuff like that. I'll frame up nine cards in one of those little frames from Michael's or Joanne's Fabrics and put their team together. Or actually, forget those places, the ones that you buy at the card shop that have um, like nine slots and some screws and put in their favorite thing and put it on uh, one of those little display, little tripod thingies. And so that's what I might do with some of these. So there's the Nick Foles jersey. I'm not sure where the other jersey is. It's around here somewhere. There's the Bishop Sankey. There's my dual relic autograph, and we got that other jersey card around here somewhere. But just look at these cards. Look at how pretty these things are. So I know some people, uh, a lot of people that are fans of the Minnesota Vikings might send that over. Really, really cool, these base. But we're going to give away all the hits, so stay tuned uh, to Sports Card Album. Like us on YouTube, subscribe and whatnot. Um, and uh, let me know in the comments of the YouTube video what you think of Topps Fire Football, what you think of the design. Look up this guy, look up this artist, and let me know what your favorite design of his is um, because it's just really, really cool in my opinion that they got uh, Tyson Beck to do this all. So let me know your thoughts if you think Topps and companies uh, should continue to do you know, outside-the-box thinking like that. Uh, and uh, look forward to reading through the comments. So. Thanks, guys, and uh, keep coming back and post your cards on sportscardalbum.com.